guys, for today's math lesson, we're going to need a couple things. So if you don't have them, go to your math box. You're going to want to get your 10 and 5 frame. And then you should have two colored cubes. So I want you to grab those. So if you don't have them, um, just pause right now. Go grab them and then come on back. All right, if you are ready to go, then we are gonna take a look at this today. So this is a picture of a bike. Um, and I just want you to think for a minute about what do you see when you look at this picture? I want you to be thinking about math things. So numbers, shapes, things like that. Just take a minute. Okay, and what are some things that you guys notice when you're looking at this bike? So we notice um, has some circles. We see a circle wheel. We see two circle wheels actually, one in the front and one in the back. We might notice um, some other smaller circles in places. We notice lines, um, things like that. So we're going to be thinking about bikes for today's math lessons and um, thinking about how many wheels did that bike have. Now I want you to um, take your cubes and put how many wheels did it have on the tens frame side of your mat. So lay that down and I want you to take your cubes and put how many wheels on there. And then you're going to show me. Okay, so I have made mine. Um, let's see how we can do this. And I have two on there. Now, if you put yours like mine, I want you to make it a different way. If you did it a different way, make it something different. So I could have two wheels like that on my tens frame. Maybe I chose to do two wheels like this. Maybe I chose to do something like this, a wheel in the front and a wheel in the back, two wheels on there. So whatever way you did it is fine. Just looking at some different ways that we could put it on there now. Now what would happen if you and I, we both put our bicycle wheels together? Let's say that um, these wheels stand for my bike and you have your wheels and there's for your bike. What would happen if we put them together? I want you to grab your other color of cubes and um, pretend they're mine and show me what do you think that that would look like? Okay, so now look at mine. We have twice as many. Before, we only had one, two. Now we have one, two, three, four. Four, when we have both of our bikes, we have two sets of two. I want you to see if you can arrange these a different way, just like we did the first time. So if yours um, look the same as mine, find a different way that we could put them. Okay. We could do this way. And let's think of one more way that we could show our wheels. Maybe we would want to do it like this. All right, good. Okay, so um, one last question is thinking about all the other kids in our class. What if we all brought two bicycles to school? How many wheels would we have in all? And how could we count those up, right? Thinking about those sets we looked at today. So that's the math question that I'm going to leave you with today. I will see you guys soon.